nasty, San Juan mayor issues disgusting message to Trump. As Puerto Rico continues to struggle with hurricane recovery efforts, one Puerto Rican mayor is seemingly focusing her efforts on attacking President Trump, instead of saving her people. Carmen Nguyen Cruz, mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, has lashed out at President Trump again. This time, she said, the president uses Twitter sort of to disperse hate, so whomever deletes that account should be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. According to the Washington Free Beacon. Aside from that comment, Mayor Cruz told NBC's Today host Gabe Gutierrez that the president displayed conduct unbecoming of a leader of the free world. The liberal mayor continues to lash out and blame Trump for the problems in the island nation, that she, herself, has aided in creating. Instead of working to help solve the issues of distributing food and water to the people and getting electricity turned back on in afflicted areas. The mayor has been a frequent guest on CNN and MSNBC where she has joined in on the anti-Trump rhetoric. Mayor Cruz's latest attack against Trump, and his Twitter account, stem from a series of tweets Trump made on Thursday to criticize Puerto Rico's government officials. The president cited their total lack of accountability and poor infrastructure and electrical systems long before Hurricane Maria's impact. Trump also tweeted, We cannot keep FEMA the military and the first responders, who have been amazing, under the most difficult circumstances, in PR forever. And mentioned that Congress must decide how much funding we can afford to allocate toward hurricane relief efforts on the island. The tweets enraged the left, unsurprisingly, including Mayor Cruz, who took the opportunity to accuse Trump of racism. The accusation appears inconsistent with Trump's actual behavior as he sent more than 10,000 federal workers to Puerto Rico, as well as lifted naval shipping restrictions to escalate shipments of supplies, and allocated $42.5 million in aid between the Federal Highway Administration and the Transportation Department, according to Fortune. Meanwhile, Mayor Cruz seemingly expects the U.S. to handle all recovery efforts, funding, and logistics without her own government stepping up. While claiming that her people are suffering and accusing Trump of genocide, the mayor has spent precious time getting printed shirts reading Nasty and Help Us, We Are Dying made for interviews with Univision and CNN, and has received hefty television time to criticize Trump. Mayor Cruz also admitted that she herself had not participated in meetings with FEMA officials, a fact that FEMA Administrator Barack Long confirmed. In an interview with The Daily Caller, Angel Perez, mayor of Guaynabo, Puerto Rico, said his experience with government officials has been positive, and very different from Mayor Cruz's. If there was not an interest in helping Puerto Rico, we wouldn't have the visits from the Congress and the visit from the President, it would never happen, Perez said. Puerto Rico Governor, Ricardo Roslo, said that the U.S. government is fulfilling his every request, according to CNN. The administration has answered and has complied with our petitions in an expedited manner, Roslo said. The comments of both Mayor Perez and Governor Roslo stand in stark contrast to what Mayor Cruz is claiming. Furthermore, the claims of President Trump's racism also fall flat, considering his swift and considerable efforts in Texas and Florida, areas with high populations of minorities. The left continues to try to morph Hurricane Maria and Puerto Rico into Trump's Katrina, when the left smeared President Bush as racist and unwilling to help Hurricane Katrina victims in New Orleans due to their race. However, Trump's actions regarding hurricane relief this year are well documented, and speak for themselves.